These are the suspects who face the lesser charges in this case, unlawful possession of a firearm, and one of them is accused of possessing cocaine. They are being tried as juveniles. Unlike the teen who was allegedly driving the car, he faces a murder charge as an adult. Cost number 18-8-0095. The two 17-year-olds face the judge one after another, both of them clean-cut with no known gang ties. Their parents shared the same grief-stricken expression sitting next to them in court. We enter pleas of not guilty to both counts. According to court documents, Sunday morning in the strip mall parking lot, the two 17-year-olds admitted to firing a 45 semi-automatic pistol and a Glock 22 into the air during an argument with another group. They had consumed between five and six beers each, and one of them had cocaine on him. Then, with their 16-year-old friend behind the wheel, they fled in this red truck that led police on a high-speed chase at speeds of 95 miles an hour. In pursuit of the truck, a Kemp police officer struck and killed a colleague, Officer Diego Moreno, who had just laid out spike strips on the road to puncture the tires of the suspect's truck. Later that morning, they saw on the news that an officer had been killed. Despite what she's been through, you the biggest heart. Moreno's wife found the strength and composure to address the public at his vigil. Thank you to everyone who has reached out. I have read every message, card, and comment. Thank you for thinking of us during this time. Uh, we previously received a copy of that information. Attorney Glenn Carpenter Jr. represents one of the teenagers charged. He declined to comment on the details of the case, but said his clients feel horrible about what happened. It's a very tragic event. Everybody involved in this feels that way. Certainly the family of my client feels that way. Um, their prayers and thoughts are with the officers' families. The 16-year-old driver has been charged as an adult with second-degree murder for Officer Moreno's death. He will be arraigned on charges next week. In the newsroom, Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News.